The last video I made, I talked about why I normalize vocals, how I get rid of peaks in vocals using Edison, and how to get more of a leveled out vocal take all the way across the track. But well, today's going to be a little bit different because FL Studio 21 is coming out very shortly and everyone's excited about it. And now they got this new feature called Gain Stage on the audio clip itself. If you look over here to the right, check this out. And as you can see, I can actually adjust away from there. So normally what I do after I record is I'll click on each file and I'll press normalize, 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 normalize. And as you can see, normalizing brings the, uh, the highest peak there to 0 dB. So even when you normalize, you can see there's a, a fluctuation between this one of the levels and of course these levels and then when I popped it later on you can see that well there's a sharp pop so I can't obviously get the same vocal level all the way across because of this simple pop right here these peaks so first thing I want to do is show you a little bit my setup this is how I record vocals these are my EQ settings I roll off some on the lows of 80 hertz on down and then I dip the lows right over here and then I open up a compressor and I, I compress the sound now you're gonna want to adjust the compressor um, to kind of fit the instrumental you don't want to over compress you don't want to under compress sometimes using under compression is better but the overall goal is to get this exact same sound level across the board so first we're going to go ahead and play it. it should sound pretty even all the way through just using the basic compressor settings itself but then i'm also going to gain stage as far as on the clips let's take a listen so what i want to do here is keep the same gain going into the compressor so after I record, what I end up doing is pressing normalize on each of the vocal takes. But what happens if you get an extra pop into the microphone? Okay, did you see right there that these two almost sound a very similar in volume? And as soon as I try to normalize this one, well, the pops in there limit it at 0 dB. Now I'll check this out. Let's see if I can kind of get this. I'm going to look at here compare to other ones and see if I can use the gain stage here to make it a little more thicker. I'm not worried about the pops because the compressor is going to limit down those pops going in so you don't have to really worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to turn that up. That looks uh, fairly even. I'm not going to complain about it. I could adjust later. This one also had a little bit of a pop and when I compare them, well, I'm going to try to gain stage it a little bit on that one. Let's go ahead and press play again and listen to see if it sounds more even. So what I want to do here is keep the same gain going into the compressor. So after I record, what I end up doing is pressing normalize on each of the vocal takes. But what happens if you get an extra pop into the microphone and you go to normalize and now it doesn't sound very even because of, well, you popped it too much. Thanks to the latest beta version in FL Studio, now I can gain stage right from the clip itself. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use gain stage into a compressor to get a better overall leveled vocal. Now you can hear all the way across the board that each one of these takes sound very similar in volume. Again, sometimes you can use a little bit more or less compression. It all depends on what fits. You definitely don't want to over compress though. So the old method that I used to use, well, I would open up. Let me go back and turn this down to zero. I would have to go to edit example it's already normalized and normally what I used to do is use a limiter 
turn up the volume. Let's just give it three for an example and run it. This is going to take just a second to process. And as you can see, what well, really makes it loud. So I'm not going to dump it over top because I got another demonstration. But even so, now it still kind of seems like it fits a little bit too loud. So then I got to go back and adjust it. Another way to do that if you didn't want to use Edison was there what used to be a gain stage on here. So you can adjust the volume. Let me go ahead and play it through. So what I want is on E, vocal takes. But what happens if you get an extra pop into the microphone and you go to normalize? So this using the gain stage on the level adjustments on the sampler itself, well, that works too. But visually, well, I don't know if I'm giving it too much. So FL Studio, like I said, this is a much better way to be able to do it just by turning up the gain visually on here to kind of get the same overall sound comparative. Another awesome thing about FL Studio 21 that's going to be released at some point. Right now it's still uh, 20.99. Is that now you got these fade in and fade out clips. So I can literally fade stuff in and fade it out. This is so much better than having to go into uh, Edison and saying, oh, I need, there's a little bit of a click sound out here. Let me go ahead and right click tools. Where is that? And, you know, do a fade in to kind of smooth it out. Or let's just say back then you could, you know, take this, right click, create automation clip, and then do it manually over top of that. Then you got to figure out which one this is actually belongs to and it was a mess back then. This is much better being able to use these little handles to fade in and fade out. And also, as long as it's on the same um, playlist track or playlist lane, you can actually, there is a way to cross feed it where it automatically kind of does both of them at the same time. See how that cross feeds the volume? Let me just take a listen to it real quick. Going into well, the compressor, if you get an extra pop into you guys, I'm very excited today about FL Studio coming up. I hope this video helps you to kind of even out your vocals even more to get that nice, same level across the whole um, vocal track so that your vocals can sit in the mix. The last thing I want to say was I use I did turn up my microphone because this is microphone directly into the um, video recording that I'm doing. So it's going to hear a little bit of a clip due to the audio interface because I wanted to get everything at the same level throughout the video. Anyways, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and have a very good day.